House up. House up. It's up, Morris. I hope y'all ready. I hope y'all ready, Morris. This shit lit. Huh? Uh, see this right here? See this right here, man? What about this right here? What about this right here? Ah. Listen. Peace and love to all the Morris, fam. Come on in. Come on in, Jake. Yeah. Peace and love to all the boys, but all the Muslims. Let me fix this real quick. All the Asiatics. Hey, is this on your wall right here? Y'all know it's our time, right? Fam, I don't know. Can you hear that instrumental right there? Fam, it's finna be like that. Like this whole, this whole age of Aquarius, it's finna be like that. Yeah. It's finna be like that. What you seeing right now? This is the tip of the iceberg. This is the appetizers right now that we seeing right now in real time. Peace and love to all y'all out there tuning in and the mores that will tune in. We finna get straight to it. Each one teach one. Our self law and master. Look. See this right here? You see this more right here? Huh? It says, this is an image of an old mech head. The phenotype is undoubtedly that of a moor, and the headdress resembles a fez. Let me know where y'all tuning in from. Shit lit. Let me know where y'all moors is at. Oakland, California, the rock. You know we up in here. Let me know where y'all at. East coast, west coast, down south, up north. Let me know where y'all at. Overseas. Let me know where y'all moors is at, man. Shed this beam out. Jum rock. Watch our guan. Let me know where y'all at, man. So look. See this right here? This is Easter Island, though. This is in honor of the ancestors. Same people, different places. Over here in Hawaii, they got real low key Colorado Islam. They got real low key. Because over here in the Hawaiian Islands, AKA Lemuria, you got, you got these over there. Hold up. Need to see a little. Need to see, need, need to see a little something real quick. Hold up. Need, you need to see a little something, right? All right, hold up. Need to see something real quick. Check this out. Over there. Listen to this. Hybrid Europeans. The hybrid Europeans, they talking. They know the truth. I've been asked recently, what convinced me of the mud flood? What was the first images I, I saw that really did it for me? And I've seen a lot of it floating around the web for a few years before I really bought into it. But the Easter Island heads, once they started digging them up and realizing they weren't heads, but whole bodies going many meters underground completely different from the easter island heads we get in our media and our education heck they even showed squibbert's house that pause it right there you know where i'm going you know where i'm going don't that right there look like a fez because it is a fez in the cartoons nah keep that image in your head fresh dallas islam let me know where y'all at with it see that see that fez right there uh, what's that on the other side, though? What's that on the other side? Nah, this is an Olmec head, right? Nah, this over, this is in a cartoon. Wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Didn't the Prophet Noble Drali, he said, watch the media, the newspapers. The prophecies are going to be revealed. Easter Island over there in Hawaii. Let's keep going an Easter Island head but that really showed me it was a real eye-opener seeing the Easter Island heads like this and for many of you it might be a first time seeing them like this yourself I've also been asked where did I hear about the mud flood from first and I'm not really sure I've always been somebody that just enjoyed digging up things that went against the narrative going on a lot of photo sites uh, Pinterest Tumblr back in the day 
led me to some of the first uh, pictures of the mud flood I've ever came across. But it has evolved a lot in the last few years, certainly from back in that. Pause it right there. Peace and love to all y'all moors out there, man. Much love to all y'all out there. Shed a beam out. Much love. I appreciate each and every last one of y'all. Look, there's another fez. <laughs> Yo, there's another fez. Hold up. Look how tall the moor is. Look how tall. One point. What? Boston Islam. Let me know where y'all at with it tuning in, man. Let me know the territories y'all at with it, man. Because you got moors in your territories that you might not even know that's in your territories that you need to link up. Start building. Look, there's another more. There's he got a fez on. Hold up. He got a fez on. Look how small the look how small the dude is right there compared to the to the to the monumental statue. DC Islam. Detroit 313. What up though? Hey, you see how small this little guy is? Look at this more right here. Philly Islam. See that? Oh, let's keep going. Cali. Okay. It overjoys me now seeing how much you are eager to dig up our true past and their own personal findings that go along with it. Question everything, friends. Ah, there's another statue. There's statues right there. Easter Island in Hawaii. They ain't even talking about the catastrophe that happened out there in Hawaii. You see how quiet they got over there? As soon as that catastrophe kicked off over there in Hawaii, they was on TV for about two weeks. And after that, it disappeared. That story ain't even in the newspaper no more. It ain't even talked about on TV no more. That ain't coincidental. You talking about giants. Huh? You talking about giants. Hold up. Until next time. Watch this stuff. Let me show you something. Look at this stuff. Nah, go straight to the literature. National mission statement written by the prophet, Noble Jew Ali. What did he say? What did he say right here? He say, the Moorish Americans are descendants of Moroccans, the northwestern capital of the mighty Carthage Moorish Empire, 1700 BC to 1820 AD. 1820 AD, the ancient Moabites, whom inhabited the northwestern and southwestern shores of Africa, born indigenous in the continental lands of America. <sighs> Y'all, <Yeah. laughs> continental lands of America. You see how so easy this to destroy these people that be coming with these narratives? You see that? National mission statement. These ain't my words. This written by the prophet, Noble Drew Ali. He told us to pay attention. Watch the news. You see what's going on. National mission statement. You see the basalt head. Fam, these heads right here weighed five to 20 tons. So it ain't like you could put this on a boat and ship it across the water. No, sir. You couldn't do nothing like that. You know how heavy these things is? You couldn't put these things on no kind of boat. Nah, you couldn't do that. They too heavy. So it had to be Aboriginal and Indigenous people already here. Like over here in Lemuria. Over here. Who's this? Who's this right here? Well, wait a minute. Atlantis is the Americas, and this includes Hawaii, which was once a Naga Maya throne of the Atlantic kingdoms, it was always a part of Atlantis. The serpent culture in Hawaii is still alive and well among the indigenous peoples. However, there's also a lot of culture, vulture, kit hijacking, and kleptomaniac parasites who can't seem to help themselves. Hold up. Kleptomaniacs trying to change and rearrange what was already put down by the ancient ones. Y'all like Dragon Ball Z, right? R.I.P. to the creator of Dragon Ball Z, though. Y'all rock with Dragon Ball Z, right? Huh? As far as Dragon Ball Z goes, the name Kamahamiha is indigenous to Aslazan, Atlantis, and was also a royal bloodline of dragon serpent kings in Hawaii. However, 
the Japanese creators of this cartoon use the name as a spell to summon fire from the palms of their fic fictional dragon warriors. Everything has a reason. They don't just use stuff like from Dragon Ball Z just to be using it. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Uh, watch this. Watch this. Watch this stuff. Watch this stuff. Watch this. Let's just do it in real time, though. Let's do it in real time. Popo from Dragon Ball Z. Ah, uh, what are you saying? What's, <laughs> what are you saying, G? I mean, come on, fam. I mean, at this point, if your mindset is just stuck on crayons and you keep talking about Indians and Pan-Africans, at this point, you sound like a fool. You look like a fool. You just being rebellious to your own history, your own bloodline, your own descendability. We doing this in real time. This ain't like I'm doing magic or something. Real time. Push the button. Microphone. Google. Mr. Popo. Brah. Huh? Ah. What's that on his crown? Ain't that a turban? Let's make it look. Let's make it a little clearer. Just in case you got a little, you got some, you got something in your eye or something. You can't really like, you know what I'm saying? Just in case you got a little, you might have something in your eye. I don't know. Maybe. Let's let maybe you got something in your eye you can't really see. So let's just go a little closer. Dragon Ball Z character. Chapter 163, the sanctuary of Kamasama. Mr. Popo. Wait a minute. Mr. Popo. Wait a minute. Mr. Popo, talk to me. Mr. Popo, talk to me. Ah, Mr. Popo. Hold up. Piccolo, Dragon Ball Z. Ah, Piccolo, Dragon Ball Z. Ah, nah. Ah, oh, you could just you could just see that every all the haters out there, they just they just crumbling. <laughs> they just crumbling. They all crumbling and tumbling the fuck down because it's over with. Extinction level event is over with. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, Extinction level event is over with. They gonna keep trying to fight, huh? They gonna keep trying to fight. See that on his crown? They gonna they gonna so they gonna try to keep trying. They gonna keep trying to go against the grant fam. You going up a hill with ice skates on? You never gonna get to the top going against the Moors, G. <laughs> yeah. You can't ice skate up this hill, fam. You can't tread this terrain. You're going to get crushed. Just like the prophet Noble Jewelry said they was going to get. They was going to get crushed into fine powder. You think it's a coincidence? Fab, this guy who created this, RIP to him, is from Jap Japan. Uh, from Japan? So how he in tune with the Moorish drip? He's in tune with it. He... He's in, he's in tune with it. Hold up. Who else was in tune with it? You want to see something wild? You want, you want, so you want to keep your eye on, keep your eyes on this. Keep this in mind now. Hold up. Keep this in mind now. Hold up. We doing this in real time. Keep this in mind. Keep this in mind now. All right. Keep, keep this right here in mind. Keep the turban on. Keep the turban on and the fez on. We doing this in real time. Okay? Real time. Hold up. Okay, you ready now, right? Let me show you something. You ready? You ready? Who's that right there? Who's that right there with a turban on? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's just eat the bomb after eat the bomb after eat the bomb, G. That's El Haj Malik El Shabazz. That's him. Exactly. The more from the cartoon Johnny Quest. Ah, hold up. 
Johnny Quest characters. Johnny Quest features five major characters. Now let's Here do are the first three: Haji, Race Bannon, and Doctor Quest. Haji, ah, oh, there's Haji. Hold up, you said Haji? <laughs> yeah. We doing this in real time. I love it. I love it. We doing it in real time, G. There's Haji. There's Haji. Uh, there's Haji. Johnny Quest. There you go. I'm talking about we just jumping off the top ropes. If we was in a ring, we just, the moors would just be jumping off the top ropes with elbows, knees, clotheslines. We'd be doing everything to you. If you're going against it, you will be crushed because the Morris tidal wave is up. It's all the way up. It's all the way up. Ain't nothing going to stop it either. There's nothing going to stop it. Let me show you something. See the, see the, see the drip, though? You see the drip? What are you, what are you saying? House party. What, 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 what kid father saying house party? Follow the drip. Follow the drip. Follow the drip. He said, follow the drip. Hold up. Then he say, follow the drip. Then he say, follow the drip. Hold up. Mr. Popo, Dragon Ball Z. Then he say, follow the drip. <laughs> Yo. Yo. Didn't he say, follow the drip? He said, follow the drip, didn't he? Didn't he say, follow the drip? I mean, didn't he say that? He said, follow the drip, right? I mean, we talking about ancient and modern headdress. See? We talking about an ancient and modern headdress. Hold up. And if you want to just go a little bit, if you just if you just want to just take it to black and white, we could take it there too. You don't want to deal with, you don't want to look at nothing in, in, in color. Cool. We could take it to black and white. Where you want to go? You want to go modern or you want to go ancient? What you want to do? Because this is an extinction level event. For naysayers. This is an extinction level event for anybody that's a traitor. This is an extinction level event for anybody coming out their face talking crazy sideways about the prophet Noble Drew Ali. Extinction level event. Where you want to go? You want to go modern? You want to go ancient? What you want to do? Uh, you want to get it carved on stones? What you want to do? Where you want to go? Huh? Where you want to go? I mean, what period of time you want to go to? You want to go to 4593 BC? You want to, you want to go there? What? You want to go to the matriarchal period? Where you want to go? Huh? Where you want to go? You want to go to the, the, the Hindu god Vishnu? Where you want to go? Fair zone. Huh? We talking about crowns on crowns. Where you want to go? You want to go to the Hittites, the Canaanites, the Moabites, the Hamatites, the Cushites, the Amorites? Where you want to go? You want to go to the Phoenicians? Uh, where you want to go? We talking about things that's been carved on stones. Huh? Oh, you want to go back over here to Hawaii? You want to go back to Hawaii? Easter Island, you want to go over there? I mean, what you want to do? <laughs> yeah. What you want to do, fam? Straight up. What you want to do, man? Because at this point, you sound insane if you're going against the Morris Tidal Wave. If you're going against nationality and birthrights, you're going insane. What you want to do? Uh, what you want to do, man? If you ain't out here talking about nationality and birthrights, you on the, you on the wrong side. You on the wrong side. Hold up. They need to see big pictures, right? Need you need you need to see big pictures, don't you? Okay, cool. And you know, whole time you know uh you know graduation coming up, right? Hold up. You know you know graduation is coming up soon, right? For certain, for schools that's finna let out. A lot of people starting to graduate. Shout out to my nephew, Aunt the God. A lot of students are about to graduate. So did you know that the, the fez is the ancient and modern national headdress? Did you know that if you lifted the corner, the four corners of this right here, the graduation cap, if you lift the graduation cap up, did you know that it will actually form a fez? Mmm. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. They want, they really want, they really, they really want to take it there. Hold up. They really, they really want to take it there, huh? All right. 
You wanted to take, you wanted to take, you wanted to take it there. Because right here, in the national mission statement written by the prophet Noble Drew Ali, he said, what now? He said, the Moorish Americans are descendants of Moroccans. And if we scroll down here, he says, what? He says, born indigenous in the continental lands of America. The Moorish Americans are a clean and pure nation. We have naturally derived our free national name, Moorish, by West African descent and American by indigenous birth. So if you saying we not Moorish Americans, that means you're going against the prophet Noble Drali and you're not acknowledging him as the last prophet brought to us by Allah. Think about it. You might want to think quick too. think fast. Because if you're going against the prophet Noble Drali, you can't say in the next breath out your mouth that we're not Moorish Americans. I mean, because the man did say right here in the national mission statement. So if you ain't read the national mission statement, then you really have nothing to say to nobody. Your fact, your, your, your claims are not facts. You really need to just fall back and just study some more because it's, it's literally written right here in the national mission statement that we are Moorish Americans. Hold up. See this right here? Did it, see this right here? Hold up. See this right here? Hold up. Let's go right here. Turn me up. Turn me up, Jay. Turn me up, man. Turn me up. Turn me up. Turn me up. Because you need to see some pictures, though. You need to see, you need to see these pictures. Ah. You need, you need to see them pictures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need to see them pictures. Ah, uh, that's what you, you need to see them pictures. You need to see them pictures. See, that's gonna make it pop out to you. Ah, uh, see, when you start seeing them pictures, you like, ah, uh, okay. Okay, Cape Verde, Santa Cruz, ah, uh, Cabo Verde, ah, Tierra de los Moros. What's that about? What's that about? What's that about? Uh, uh, what's that about though? When they talking about showing the old map, they talking about showing the old map. What? Hey, they talking about showing the old maps. They talking about showing the old maps. Hold up. National mission statement. National mission statement, right? Now look. Watch this though. Let's tie it in a little. Let's tie it in a little bit further. It say we do what now? It say the basalt heads. And earth mounds can be found to this day from Canada in the north, southward throughout the U.S., Mexico, Central and into South America proves our pre-American presence here. So these heads right here can be found from so-called Canada in the north all the way down to Mexico. But we not we but we not the ones that kicked it off. And we not the ones that's ancient and modern. Man, stop playing, Jay. <laughs> stop playing. Stop playing. Hey. Look at this stuff. You know it's crazy. You know it's crazy. Look at this. This something that's wild though. This something that's wild though. How you got 565 names, 400 in America, and 81 in so-called Canada? How you got Moorish names for towns, cities, villages, mountains, lakes, rivers, etc.? How you got that? Who you think cooked up the Arabic language? Who did that? The, the Moors did that.
<laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Listen, hold up. Taj want to talk to y'all, man. Taj got something to say. Taj got something to say. Go ahead and talk to him, Taj. Has been addressing this since 1948. Problem that you have is that you have fake scholars who keep getting paid off to keep promoting owning these people as crayons knowing that that makes them non-descendable uh, talk to him has been addressing this since 1948 problem that you have is that you have fake scholars who keep getting paid off to keep promoting these people as crayons knowing that that makes them non-descendable when it was black green what purple scholars Give me a fake scholar. This anybody that continues to call these people of Moorish Asiatic descent black, knowing it makes them non-descendable. We're talking about a political issue of estate. Mm. Is Dr. John Henry Clark one of those? Who are you talking He about? knows that these people are Moors. Huh? He knows that these people yeah, are more so does everyone else. Moors is just descriptive. You're not, you're not, you're not. Mm, well, you're not, you're, you're no, that's your opinion. That's your opinion. Oh, because I don't God. see. Give me the fact. Give me the facts. Give me the facts. Where, where does the word derive from? Give me the facts. The first use the word it's short for Moroccan. Right. It, it, and when it originate? When it become in, in It comes from ancient Moabite. From Central right. America, what you call right. Old Mex, yes. Old Amexum. Okay, I got you. Yes. All right. So in, in, in England, right? When yeah. Al Misor, when Al yeah. Misor began yeah. to have conversations at the yeah. BBC in in England, right? Yes. That is when the, was he the, sitting the, was he sitting around talking about black people? Were he talking about Moors? He Answer the question. His, was he talking about black about people? Or were he talking about Moors? He was well, talking about the again. Economy. Was he talking yes. about black people or was he talking about more? He wasn't talking about black people. He was of talking about. Of course he about wasn't. It. No, he because wasn't. it's a brand that has its life in North America from Dutch masters after they came to North America. He was talking about his sultan. That's what he was talking oh, about. During yes. work, during work, Al Mansour was. Let me ask you, me yes. ask you a yes. question. What was his nationality? His nationality. He was a sultan. No, his nationality. I asked you what his nationality was. They were forming, not the they title. Were forming That's the title. I didn't ask you his position. They were forming Listen, he said, what is his nationality? I didn't ask you his position. I asked what you his nationality? nationality. Not his title. It's like saying Esquire. Al Mansour was establishing the Moroccan Empire. I didn't ask you what he was what doing. I asked you what his nationality was. Al Mansour was establishing the Moroccan Empire. Going back to that, we're saying, what is his nationality? Huh? What was his nationality? I didn't ask you what he was doing. I asked you what his nationality was. Going back to that, we're saying, what is his nationality? Huh? What was his nationality? I don't believe that it was a nationality. I didn't ask you what your beliefs are. I asked you what was his nationality. Okay, watch this. Because you keep bringing him up. I am, I am bringing him. Do you know who he is, because, first of all? No, we sure know who he is. But we just asked his nationality. Right. We just, did he, hold on, we well, didn't ask his nationality. nationality. I don't believe he had a nationality. That's my point. Uh, You're saying his nationality. Conversation's over. Conversation's, Conversation's over. over. Conversation's over. Conversation's over. Any communication <laughs> between any peoples on the planet <laughs> is called diversity. And when you're dealing with treaties and you're dealing with constitutions, you're dealing with nation states. Whether you go to Philadelphia at the Parkway or whether you go to the United Nations, you will have flags that represent the birth of humanity from a woman's womb. And it's called nations, nativity. Uh -huh. And anybody that's outside of that paradigm is outside of the human family. That's what our problem has been. Uh, it was uh, has been Taj addressing this since cooking. 1948. Hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Problem that you have is that you have fake <laughs> scholars who keep getting paid hold off to keep promoting Taj these is going to eat them all. Look. <laughs> Taz on straight. Eat them all, G. If they not talking about nationality and birth rights, then they not talking about nothing. If they talking about titles, sultans, if they talking about all these different things... I'm talking about a bachelor degree. If they talking about an associate degree, a doctorate degree, an MA, it don't matter. What is your nationality? That means where, what nation do you come from on the planet? Period. Nationals speak to other nationals. That's diversity. See, they want us to be out here thinking in a crayon box, not thinking about nationality and birth rights. If you don't have a nationality, then you're non-descendable. Let's go to law now. Let's go to law now. We're going to be moving around fast. Do your best to keep up. I appreciate each and every last one of y'all tuning in, though. We're going to go to a law book. All right? We're going we gonna to go to this law book real fast. Turn me up. Turn me up, Jay. Let's go. Turn me up. We're going to go to the law book. Fourth edition, Black's Law. Let's go, let's go straight. Let's go straight to the law book. 
And let's look up this word right here. Descend. To pass by succession. As when the estate vests by operation of law in the heirs immediately upon the death of the ancestor. Pay attention. Descend, right? Okay. Descendant. One who is descendant from an other. From another. A person who proceeds from the body of another, such as a child, grandchild, etc., to the remotest degree. Pay attention. Descend, descendant. Now, Taj was talking about making us non descendable, right? Black Slaw 4th Edition Dictionary. Get this in your archive. ASAP. Look. So, what it say? Right here. These are the kind of descendants you can be, though. See? Descendants is a good term of description in a will. And includes all who proceed from the body of the person named as grandchildren and great grandchildren. Descent. Descendable. Capable of passing by descent or of being inherited or transmitted by device. Spoken of estates, titles, offices, and other property, which is what? The land. Ah, you talking about the land. Now you see why they want to disassociate us from talking about the land as Moors. They don't want us to connect that descendability. Mm. And this is why nationality got to be a conversation that we have all the time or damn near all the time. Once you declare your nationality, you put it on the public record. Cool. But if you ain't on that type of time, you in shark infested waters, fam. Whole time, look. What's descent? Hereditary secession. Secession to the ownership of an estate by inheritance. Mm, do you see that? Do, do you see that? You see, if we stay in a colorable mentality, in a colorable status, Indian, black, pan-African, etc., then you don't have descendability. You're non-descendable, which means your land, your history, your inheritance, your resources, etc., will not be passed down to you as an heir. Your estate, which is the land, will not be given to you. This is why in the scripture it says, seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and all things will be given upon thee or unto thee. This is when the Bible talk about that. But the pastor, they not finna, they not finna dissect that and just give it to us like that. Why? Because it's a payoff. Think about it. If they've been out here for a couple of centuries now, staining us, keeping us taxed unlawfully, unconstitutionally, keeping us in a state of mind like we just got to go to work. We got to suffer. We got to pay these crazy taxes and mortgages and all this shit. If they keep us in a mindset, who getting paid? If they keep us on a money grab on some man, fam, I got to go to work. I just on the weekend, I, I, you know, I get to go kick it, but I know I'm going to go crazy on the weekend and spend everything that I just earned damn near on the weekend. If you in that type of mentality, they got you under control. That's another reason why they're not finna pu push this information about nationality and birth rights to the people. We the people, they not going to push it out to us. So we got to do it ourselves. Each one teach one. So if they ain't talking about this right here. If they not out here talking about this, the national mission statement written by the prophet Noble Ali. if they not here out here talking about we Moorish Americans are not Negroes, colored folks, or black people, ETC, because though because these names were given to slaves by slaveholders in 1779 and lasted until 1865. 
during the time of duly constituted slavery in the United States. But this is a new era of time now. You see, this is the age of Aquarius now. Well, see, all of the information that's been hidden from us, been buried, is now coming out. Y'all outside like I'm outside. Y'all looking around? You got information popping up now like crazy. I'm talking about everywhere. It's all popping out. Look at this. Let me show y'all this. Show y'all this right here now. Look. Show y'all this right here. Look. From the book, America, the True Old World. All right, volume two, The Promised Land. Watch this right here. We're going to tie another. We're going to tie it in a little further. Let's go a little further. Y'all want to go a little further? Let's go a little further. What does it say right here? It say the Morocco in North Africa wasn't established officially until 1956. Mm, let that one just marinate. Just, just let that one marinate. Just, 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 just let that one just marinate. Mm. Just let that one just marinate. What? What? It say the Morocco and North Africa wasn't established officially until 1956. Therefore, the Morocco that first recognized the U.S. in 1777 as a nation couldn't have been the Morocco that established in North Africa in 1956. Because the 1956 Morocco was not around in 1777. Mm. The Morocco that is referring to, it says the Morocco that is it is referring to is Morocco, Indiana. Ah, this is where they got the so-called India from, fam. Yeah, yeah, fam. This is where they got the so-called Indian narrative from. Hold up, man. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up, Jim. Oh my God, fam! Where they got so-called India from? Is they got that from Indiana? You understand? Indiana. So they took Indiana and was like, "We gonna flip Indiana. We gonna flip that to Indian." <sighs> Let's go a little further. You wanna go a little further? Hold up. You wanna go a little further? Hold up. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Let's go. Let's go a little further. You wanna go a little further? <laughs> yeah. Let's go a little further, man. Let's go a little further. See that? See? The Morocco. Turn me up, man. Gonna carve him up real nice. Huh? The Morocco that it is referring to is Morocco, Indiana. India and or Morocco, Illinois, both of which were major trading hubs due to their connection to the Mississippi River and the Great Lakes and due to the other industries built around them, making them both centers of commerce and learning. See this? This illustration right here is going to go in a little further. See? This illustrates the thriving modern industry built around Morocco and Jerusalem. Jump in the time machine. The Indiana is was shortened to India. This is where they get India from. They took it from Indiana, Morocco. That's why in 1777, the so-called U.S. corporation got recognized. Because it wasn't no Morocco on the other side. Whether you a round earther or a flat earther. If we go to the Morocco over here. See this Morocco over here? This Morocco was not here in, 19, in, in 1777. This Morocco didn't get established till 1956. 
bing fucking bong. And when you go over here to Morocco, Indiana, it was already over here. That's why Morocco, Indiana was the ones who recognized first the U.S. corporation as a nation. India came from Indiana. They took Indiana, shortened up Indiana to India. Mm. Hold up. What'd you say? I got a car in my real life. <laughs> I got a car in What'd my you say, Tony? Hold up. What'd you say, Tony? I got a car in my real life. Yeah. 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 I'm going to carve him up real nice. Real nice. All these naysayers. All these haters. Everybody going against the Moors. You can't stop the tidal wave, fam. This shit lit. This shit up. This is our flag. This is our flag. That's our flag. That's our flag. The Trinidadian flag. All these are Moorish lands. Huh? All these are, whether you are flat earther or whether you are round earther, you are on land. So know that the land that you live on is an inheritance from your ancestors. You understand? The Moorish tidal wave is up now. It's up, G. So get on what you're supposed to be on because Noble Joe Ali laid it down flat. Flat. This is exactly why over here in Al Maghrib, Al Asqa, you have 565 names and 484 is Arabic names. Arabic is a title of nobility, which means Moors. Yes, sir. The Haitian flag. What you mean? Aity. Look, all these lands, North America, over here, to Hawaii, over there, all the way over here, all this, Central America, Cuba, Jamrock, Aity, DR, PR, the Greater Antilles, Hispaniola, the Lesser Antilles, Dominica, Barbados, all these over here, St. Lucia, Trinidad and Tobago, Grenada, all these, all right? All of these lands. If you from St. Vincent, all these islands over here, these are Moorish people. See, all of us are Moorish people, but they want to keep the information suppressed. That's what I keep coloring that black shit. Black and, and African American and Pan African. Nah, nah, nah. Raja, peace, more. Guyana. All this over here. Look. Hold up. Is you ready? Is you, hold up. Is you ready? Is you is you ready? Is you ready to turn on right here? Ah. Uh, is you ready to turn up? Is you ready? Cause this you, this us. This us right here. Yeah. Yeah. This us right here. New Orleans, Islam. Huh? Is you is you ready to turn your your energy on? Huh? Cause look. Don't be afraid of this. That 33. That's your vertebrae. That 33 is your spine. That 33 is your ascension to Christ. You ain't realize, you didn't realize that you are a Christ. You are Christ. You are. You are Christ. Once you activate your pineal gland and you're not afraid of yourself. Then you can fully activate to your Christ degree and your wings can fly. Fly to the stars. Yeah. 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 Huh? 
You want to fly to the sun? You want to fly past the sun? Take off. You got to take off. Yeah. Because you see, because you see, you see the drip. You see the drip. You see the drip, right? Hold up. You see the drip, right? Look at this. Hold up. You want to see a map that was older? This is from a 1904 ground plan of Louisiana Purchase. Shout out to the malls down there in Louisiana. Crescent City down there. St. Louis, Islam. Look what they did, though. They flipped around everything. This is from an actual 1904 ground plan map. Look at this. Japan is over here. What? Jerusalem is over here. What? How, Sway? How is Morocco in Illinois? What? How is California over here? What? Yeah. Yeah, they don't want us to get on that, though. But nah, nah, hold up, hold up. Hey, you like, y'all like dancing? Huh. Y'all like dancing? Y'all like dancing, right? Now, let's go on the time machine. You like dancing? Watch this. You like dancing? Watch this. Huh. Like dancing, right? Because you ever heard of the Morris, the Morris, the Morrison dance? Have you ever heard about that dance? You no, know, people love dancing. Dancing is fun. You got a lot of fun dancing. You ever heard about the Moorish dance or the Morrison dance? You ever heard about that? This shit finna blow your mind. <laughs> Yo, watch this right up. Let's go. Look at this. Watch this. Hold up. Who's right up? Who are you at? Uh, okay. Watch this. Castanets are percussion instruments that almost tickle the ear and are used in Moorish, Ottoman, ancient. What? With different variations depending on the region, Hokta is derived from Latin and means jump, which describes the lively, bouncy movements of the dance. Castanets are percussion instruments that almost tickle the ear and are used in Moorish, Ottoman, ancient Roman what? movements of the dance. Castanets are percussion instruments that almost tickle the ear and are used in Moorish, Ottoman, ancient Roman, Italian, Sephardic, Swiss, and Portuguese music, but also by the Phoenicians 3,000 years ago. Mm. Watch this. were not used in the Americas Watch this. in the hand and used Watch this. the instrument consists of a pair of concave shells joined together on one edge by a string held in the hand and used to produce rhythmic accents or a rattling sound consisting of a rapid series of clicks although the castanets were not used in the Americas the hota is clearly the foundation of many couple dances in the Americas, courtship dances, such as the hota tapatio of Jalisco, Mexico. Jalisco, Mexico. So we just went. Hold up. So look, we just went. We just jumped from the Americas all the way over there overseas. We doing this in real time, boys, because we are world people. 
Moorish culture is world culture. We didn't stay in like one place, like they say Africa. They were North African. No, that's not the truth. We are world people. Whole time, look. And if you go, where well, these people don't never go, they'll just be, they'll just be just trying to just finesse somebody and lie to us dead in our faces. That shit dead. If you go to the national mission statement written by the Prophet Noble Jali, what does he say? He say what? This right here. Right? It's, it's literally right here. Right here. The Moorish Americans are descendants of Moroccans. The Northwestern capital of the mighty Carthage Empire, Moorish Empire. 700 BC to 1820 AD, the ancient Moabites whom inhabited the northwestern and southwestern shores of Africa, born indigenous in the continental lands of America. The Moorish Americans are a clean and pure nation. We have naturally derived our free national name Moorish by West African descent and American by indigenous birth. Being fucking bong. So when they say wow shit out their mouth, all you gotta do is be like, have you read the national mission statement prepared by the Prophet Noble Jali? If you ain't read that, then we really ain't got nothing to talk about. Because if you saying that we're Moroccans, the Prophet Noble Jali, you do acknowledge the Prophet Noble Jali as the last prophet, right? So if you acknowledge the prophet Noble Drew Ali is the last prophet and Noble Drew Ali <clears throat> never wrote in no literature that we are Moroccans. He said Moorish Americans. Then what, are, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? You're lying. You capping. Let's go. <laughs> The Philippine Jota was among the most popular dances during the Spanish colonial period and up until the early 20th century. It was originally performed in social gatherings, like weddings and baptisms, but the Filipinos adapted different versions of their own, with a notable difference being the use of bamboo castanets. Legend states ah. that this dance was originally brought to Spain by the exiled Moorish poet Abin Yat. You caught that? It was originally brought to Spain by the exiled Moorish poet Abin Yat. The exiled Moorish poet Abin Yat. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up now. Hold up. Yeah. The receipts is crazy, right? The receipts is crazy. Hold up. He said the Moorish poet. Y'all been watching, y'all been watching Putin? Well, Putin been out there showing. Putin been out there showing a gang of shit. Putin been Putin been out there showing all type of shit. Hold up. We ain't forget about what fan was just talking about now. Hold up. We ain't forget. Y'all been seeing Putin. Putin been showing all these Moorish pictures. Y'all been if y'all been watching Putin, he been showing. That's Apostle Paul. Another more. Huh? If y'all been watching what Putin been putting out, I mean, he really been telling people. This is the real Council of Nicaea right here. This is the before. Let me zoom in for you. This is the before. This is what Putin been on. Putin been out here just dropping ether. That's why they want to get him up out of there. This is the this is the fraud. This is the cap. This is the real images. The Moorish images. Dark complexion, authentic pictures. This is when they whitewashed it. Before, after. See? Before, after. This is what they did now. You see? They wanted to put the face of that pale face European to give them the illusion of power. That spell was broken. <laughs> you know? That shit dead. See this? This is the type of stuff that Putin been out. 
Right. On God. Bleach washed. Bleach washed. Yes, sir. Bleach washed. That's what they wanted to do. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, that's what they wanted to do. They bleached it. They. Ah. Uh, who was that? St. Benedict the Moor of Palermo, Italy. Palermo, Palermo, Palermo. Hold up. Palermo, Palermo. What'd you say about Palermo? We doing all this in real time, though. You said about, hold up. You said, you said Palermo, didn't you? Didn't you say Palermo? Wait a minute. Hold up. We doing it in real time, though. That's why it's so crazy. You said Palermo, didn't you? Didn't you say Palermo? You said Palermo, right? St. Benedict the Moor. Didn't, didn't, say, didn't you say Palermo? Hold up. Hold up, hold up. Let me, let me get it real quick. Let me get it real quick. But let me show you this real quick too, though. Cause we gotta, we gotta, we gotta show big pictures. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta show big pictures, right? Look, look at this. Who's this right here? Huh? Who's that right there? You know where I'm going, Imani. Palermo style, the Moorish artifact. Ah, this is why I rock with y'all. Cause we be having intelligent Moors on the beam outs. This is why I rock with y'all. You know where I'm going. This is St. Peter before the racial transformation. Y'all know St. Pete the Moor? In the Bible? Ah. These right here is titles of nobility. You couldn't get on one of these shields if you was just a peasant. If you was a peasant, a nobody, your face ain't getting on none of these shields. Boys, you crazy? You ain't getting on no shields? You got to be a Moorish noble to get on one of these shields. And you see the Moors is on the shield and on top of the shield, boy. This is in Germany. This is in Germany. What you mean? We just left the Philippines. <laughs> Yeah. We just left the Philippines. We went from North America. We went to Central America, South America, England. We all over the world, G. And you think it's just, nah, we won. We won just in one place. We ain't go nowhere. Man, let the veil fall from over your eyes, man. The veil is falling. It's over with. That's why this right here is an extinction level event for them. Shout out to the Philippines. Here's another more. Albert of Prussia, the first Duke of Dutch Prussia. The Teutonic Moors, he was a Teutonic Knight. He was the Grand Master of the Teutonic Knights. Ah, uh, that looked like your father. That looked like your, your cousin, your uncle. Huh? That might look like your homie. Right there. Right there. The artifacts. So you start seeing big pictures, then you like, ah, oh, that's why, that's why they hiding it. That Pooh Shiesty mask, that ain't new. Ain't nothing new under the sun. That ain't nothing new under the sun. Fam, you got people out here wearing this today. They thought it was something new, though. Nah, ain't nothing new under the sun, boys. Nothing is new. This is why Noble Drew Ali put it out there how he put it out there. This is exactly why he put it out there. Hold up. I wanna I wanna I wanna find something real quick. I wanna find something real quick. Where is it? Ah, I wanna do it in real time though. Ah, we could do it in real time. <laughs> yeah. We could do it in real time. You wanna do it in real time? What you wanna do? M-A-U-R. Palermo Stelle, the title of the high priest of Anu. Man, listen, man. Listen, man. Then we, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up, man. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Turn me up. Turn me up, man. Turn me up, man. Turn me up, man. Turn me up, Jay. Turn me up. Didn't you just say Palermo Stelle, the title of the high priest of Anu? You said that, didn't you? Didn't, didn't you say that? 
And these symbols right here, hold up. So for the so-called Hebrew Israelites that's out there, right? We ain't got nothing but love for y'all, but y'all got to declare nationality though. All right? Y'all got to stop playing and declare a nationality. All right? Because when you say Hebrew, look at this from the book, The Torch. So when you say Hebrew, the Hebrew word for teacher is more. Look at the spelling M O R E H. The Hebrew word for teacher is more, which is the charge and obligation of all sons of the light. Refer to a concordance Hebrew Strong's Exhaustive Concordance, Hebrew and Chaldea Dictionary, page 60. More, M A O W R, more, M A O R, Mora, M O W R A H, Ra, and who's Ra? Yo, and who's Ra? What is Ra? What is Ra? Oh, I got, I got, I'm going to leave, I'm going to leave this right here so you can just get a screenshot. I'm going to leave this right here so you can just get a screenshot. L, Ra, S. See, the L with the six point star represent as above, so below. The higher self and the lower self, the mind and the spirit connection. Is is spirit. Ra is mind. Balanced out is a manifest of consciousness represented as L, which is the God within. You don't have to go outside yourself to get the lights. Turn me up. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Just get a screenshot of that. Get a screenshot of that real fast, Morse. Cooking. Cooking. I don't know what they was on. I don't I don't know what they was on. What they thought? We weren't finna take it there? <laughs> yeah. Nah, we taking it all the way there. We take we taking it all the way there. All the way, Morris. All the way. Hold up. Hold up. What what'd you say? Saint Benedict the Moor, Palermo, Italy. It's like that. It's like that. Mmm. It's like that. It's like that though. Cause whole time, it's right here. It's right here though. They trying to go against the Prophet Noble Juali. Is you crazy? <laughs> Yo, is you wild? Hold up, man. Hold up, man. Listen, I don't know what they thought we was finna be on. I think they really don't know or comprehend that Noble Drew Ali laid this whole plan out. Allah is the great is the great architect. We talking about Allah, the creator. The great, the great architect. I don't think they really read this, the, 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 the information like that because if you look up caveat emptor and you see that it's going to be schemers, it's going to be all kind of canavas who choose not to stay in their higher self and balance out their lower self. So they finna be on some, you know what, we're going to try to finesse and bring as many people as we can down with us. And look what's look how it's backfiring right now. <sighs> all they plans and they little schemes is all backfiring right now. Y'all see who on the run outside. And it's just that's just the tip of the iceberg. Shout out to the peace dealer. He was talking about what's happening right now is just the tip of the iceberg. All that Diddy shit and all that. That's the tip of the iceberg, fam. That's just the tip of the iceberg. Look. Look at this. So they talking about... They talking about this. The Quran questions for Moorish Americans. 101s and 102s. Hey. To the goofballs. 
to the goofballs that say we not Marsh Americans, right? Answer me this, genius. Why did Noble Drew Ali, who wrote this, by the way, why did he call it the Moorish American prayer and not the Moroccan prayer? Uh, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. <laughs> I'm waiting, though. Why did Noble Drew Ali, why he called it the Moorish American prayer and not the... Moroccan prayer. Hey. Hey, man. Just got some questions for you, though. Because you say that we're not Moorish Americans. So if we're not Moorish Americans, then why didn't the prophet who wrote that, why didn't he call it the Moroccan prayer? Why did he call it the Moorish American prayer? Genius. If you got this book, we on page... 632 and the book is called The Exhumant of a Nation uh, uh, I'm just asking questions though cause y'all got some y'all say y'all got some answers cause y'all going to y'all got y'all own you know so how why didn't the Prophet Noble Drew Ali name it the Moroccan Prayer instead of the Moorish American Prayer Answer me that, genius. <laughs> yeah. Turn me up, man. Turn me up, man. Huh? And then, whole time, look. Whole time, look. What do he say? He said, what is his nationality? Moorish American. What is our nationality? He said, what is your nationality? Moorish American. Why are we Moorish Americans? Because we are descendants of Moroccans and born in America. Where was Noble Drew Ali born? In the state of North Carolina, 1886. 1886, huh? Nah, jump in the time machine. Hold up. Jump in the time machine. Let me show you something. Let me show you something. You gotta love it, though. You gotta love, this is why the prophet Noble Drali said, I'm gonna bring something for y'all to shout about. You more is to shout about. Look at this. Look. Look at this. Look at this right here. What'd he say? North Carolina? That's where the prophet Noble Drali was born, right? Okay. Now, if you from Charlotte, if you from out there in Charlotte or somewhere over there in the Carolinas, there's a town. There's a county and a town. The town is called Charlotte. For Queen Charlotte, that's over there in England. From over there. Queen Charlotte, right? Hold up. Hold up. This shit crazy. This shit crazy. Queen Charlotte, right? Queen Charlotte. It's just a coincidence that it's a town in North Carolina called Charlotte. And in the, in the county of Mecklenburg. And then we go from North Carolina. It's a Morris connection there. And then we go to South Carolina. It's another Morris connection there. You want to see the connection? You want to see? You want to see the connection? Let's see the connection together. All right. Let's see it together. Let's see it together. Uh, you said what? You said what, Tony? What you said, Tony? What he say? Hold on. What he say? I gonna carve him up real nice. Ah, I'm gonna carve him up real nice, real nice. What's that? What's that right there? What's that? What's that? South Carolina? Ottoman Empire? Yeah. 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 Uh. Yeah. You got a 
think critical. You gotta think critical. R.I.P. Prodigy. Yeah. You gotta think critically out here. You gotta think critically out here. Tony Montana said, I'm gonna carve him up real nice. So look, then he would say, so we got North, we got North Carolina, you got Queen Charlotte. Charlotte is in Mecklenburg County. Then you go down to South Carolina. Then you get the same flag similar, super similar to the Ottoman Empire. And the Ottoman Empire was Moorish people. So you got in South Carolina the similar flag of ancient times and modern times. Look at my face. Nah, we ain't going. 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 Cause we doing this. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. We ain't going. Cause everything is out here. It's all out here though. You just gotta dig for it. It's out here. It's available. You just gotta dig for it. Then, hold up. Whole time, look. Look at this right here, though. Hold up. Look at this. It say, it say what now? It say this. You want some more about South Carolina? All my peoples out there in South Carolina and North Carolina and the East Coast all over there. Look at this though. You want another correlation? Look at this. It say what? We can, can we can conclude we can conclude that the Ottomans called themselves Turks because Turk is short for their country of origin, Turkey. According to America is the true old world book reference. Hold up. Hold up. There's a there's 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 a there's a there's a book reference. If we talking about a book reference, there you go. According to that book, America is the true old world. Ancient Turkey was in the Carolinas, North and South Carolinas. <sighs> ah, <laughs> yo, I don't know what they thought it was for to be. I, hey man, listen, listen, man. I don't know what they thought it was going to be. I don't know. I don't know what they thought. I don't know what they thought. It's up, though. It's up, though. I don't know what they thought. That shit they talking? That shit dead. Over with. Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh huh. No, with Draw Ali, wrote it down, writing exact. Writing exact. Exactly. Muslims. 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 Yeah. Uh. Muslims. I mean, we talking about things that could be proven. Cause all you gotta do is go to go to the vowel system. If you want to deal with vowels, go to the vowels. What comes before what? What comes be what comes before what? The O or the U? What comes before what? Huh? <sighs> what comes before what? The O or the U? I mean, I mean hey, we just we could we could go to the vowel system. Hey, you wanna see something wild too though? Look at this. Look, watch this. So not only is we going to mint from we done went all over the place.
Mr. Popo, Dragon Ball Z. We didn't went to Piccolo. We didn't went to Noble Drew Ali. We didn't went to America, the true old world. We didn't went all over the place. And it's all critical thinking, Gnostic knowledge, connections. Muslim is the ancient. Muslim is the modern. Muslim is the divine will of the will of Allah. Muslim means to submit to Allah. But Muslim means you are being the divine will of the will of Allah. So you're an action. You're not a Muslim where you're submitting to the will. As a Muslim, you are being the will. You get it? Look at this. Look at this right here. We're going to do it in real time. We're we going to do this in real time like we've been doing it. All right? We're going we're gonna to do it in real time. Look, watch this. Look at this. It says, the land become, it's look, the land belongs to the Moors, the Turner case, right? Look. Look at, look at, look at this now. Hold up. Look at this now. Hold up. Hold up. Let's go right here. United States versus the heirs of the Turner case. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We're doing this in real time now. The Supreme Court declared in 1848 that the United States does not own over one million square miles of land that was occupied by the ancient mound builder civilization. And instead ruled that the lawful owners are the heirs of Henry Turner, recognizing the Wichita Moors people's claims to the land being fucking bong. So why would you want to claim to be an Indian again? It's over with. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Why would you want to claim to be an Indian again? It's a it's I'm, it's like you should be insulted when somebody calls you less than a more. When somebody calls you less than a more, you should really be insulted. For real, for real, though, you should be like your skin should cringe. You should feel uncomfortable when somebody call you less than a more. If they not calling you more, they calling you less than that. Your skin should cringe, fam. You should be on some. Hey. Nah, I know what you used to, but I'm a more, and I know I'm a more. Your skin should cringe. You should be like, hey, that should make you so uncomfortable at this point now. Well, somebody calls you less than a more, why would you want to be less than more? You don't want to be more? You want to be less than more? Why? Por que? Por que, man? The case, you can go look it up yourself. It's called the United States versus heirs of Henry Turner. Circa 1848. You can, get, you can look it up yourself. All right. Your skin should crawl when somebody call you less than a more. If they call you less, if they call you less than a more, you should be like, hey, man, listen, that ain't that. I know what you used to calling people, but I, that ain't me. All right. I'm more. I'm more. I know I'm more. You feel me? And once you start putting that energy frequency and vibration out there, they're going to look at you different. Like, damn. Okay. They just going to have to respect it. Because now you know who you are. And you got receipts, documentation, artifacts. You got buildings. You got castles all around the planet for verification. If they be like, man, you ain't no, you ain't no more. You ain't, you ain't that. I ain't that. Well, then how do I got all these things around here that support what I'm talking about? See, see, once you start showing people them pictures, because a lot of people, they learn off visuals. 
So they learn off visual things. As, as you see, it's, it's so powerful when you see the image. You're like, damn, that's, that's us? Hell yeah, that's us. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's us. Yes, that's us, fam. And as, as you see right here, hold up. As you, as you, hold up. As you see right here. How much time we got? We got a few minutes. You see the dances? Hold up. You see the dances they doing? Look. Look at the dances that they doing. Look. Let me show you. In the hand, Filipinos adapt and invading the Iberian Peninsula. The Berber tribes of the region were noted in classical literature as Mari from present day Morocco. Subsequently, rendered as Moors in English and other Aryan or Indo-European languages. The Berbers are currently located geographically around Mount Atlas, but inhabit much They got them as pale skin, though. Let's go here. Et c'est un mot qui n'existe pas dans notre langue. Hein? Nous, nous nous appelons Amazir et non pas euh, Berber. Amazir. What angers Miriam is that while her people are being written out of the nation's history books, their traditions are being stage managed for tourist dollars. Ce qui m'a surtout embêté, c'est les filles qui sont les Arabes déguisées en Amazir. Là, c est, c est, je trouvais ça un peu fort quand même. Ouais. But Miriam has found like-minded militants who are driven to discuss exactly those issues. See, then that's what I don't like about this video that I'm saying. I'm watching this video right now in real time with y'all. I seen like two minutes of this video and I'm dancing. And I'm like, I'm finna use this shit. Then I see this right here and I'm like, nah, you got you got pale face people over here who are not the authentic Moors that was over here or the Amazia, the Amazia people or the Abyssinian people, or the Berbers that was over here. Berbers and all that, if you want to dig deeper into that, you can pick up this book right here. Othello's Children in the New World. Pick up this book by the more R.I.P. Jose V. Pimenta Bay, Ph.D. Moorish History and Identity in the So-Called African-American Experience. Okay? See that, though? See, we've been dripped up. There's a prophet, Noble Jali, right there. We've been dripped up. We've been standing strong. It's just nationality is the order of the day. You can't stand with people who are on the other side. If they siding with somebody that ain't got a nationality, you ain't got, I'm sturdy and your ass ain't. That ain't going to work. We all got to be on solid rock. We all got to be on solid foundation. It ain't going to work. With something else. If you want solid rock, that means you want love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. You standing over here. All right? If your ass over there on some, well, he's a Moor. He say he's black. He says he's Indian. She says she's Native American. She says she's a Hebrew Israelite. He says he's a Pan-African. It's, 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 it's no unity there. Because nativity comes from mother. And mother grants us the nationality. You see, as above, so below. So if you're not in tune with your ancient foremothers and forefathers, then you're not sturdy. You can't be sturdy. You can't be. You can't be sturdy because you ain't got no solid foundation. You see this right here? This thing is multiple thousands of years old and it still look brand new. Because it was built sturdy. That's why. It was carved sturdy. That's why. It ain't going nowhere. Because it's sturdy. And it's 5 to 20 tons. Sturdy. It ain't going nowhere. Because that's how we built. You know what I'm saying? That's how we built. If you, in, if you, if you on your principles. Alright? If you standing on principles. And you got it in your mind. Thoroughly clear that you not black, then now you getting sturdy. Now you getting sturdy. You standing on principles. I self law and master. Now you sturdy out here. 
But if you out here talking about, ah, well, you know, I'm not really sure, so I'm just going to go about what everybody else say. Everybody else say they black, so I'm just going to say that. You ain't sturdy. You 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 not, G. <laughs> you not, because you're not honoring your ancient foremothers and forefathers. Islam. You got to honor that. Turbaned up, fazed up. See? Turbaned up and fazed up, fam. I'm talking about from this... To the symbols and the signs. It's all ancient Moorish connection. Everything. Everything. You know what I'm saying? Everything, Moors. Everything. You know. But, uh. Fandle, we speak That's why we give you more ways it's time to move around, though. Like I hope y'all got something from this play. beam out. But it's about that time. I appreciate each and every last one of y'all more tuning in, though. But it's about that time. It's about that time, Jay. Yeah. If you got questions, just hit me up. Just hit me up. All right? I be moving around all the time, though. But if you hit me up, you DM me, give me a question or something, you want to build on something, just hit me. Just hit me, fam. I'll be outside, you. I ain't like one of these people that you see them online and then you be like, man, I can't never get in contact with. Nah. This ain't this ain't nothing, no internet social media shit. This shit real life. Real life shit. You know what I'm saying? Ah, it's one thing I wanted to show y'all. I don't know where it's at right now. It's like buried. It's like buried under this pile of, of books right here. But whole time, look. Let me show y'all these before I move around, though. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let me show you these books before I move around, though. Yeah. Get your screenshots up. Get them screenshots up. Uh-huh. Don't forget this, though. Don't forget this, though. Get this one. Ah. Uh huh? Gotta critically think. Gotta critically think out here. Holy crap. The Holy Quran. Divinely prepared by the Prophet Noble Jali. Yes, sir. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Hold up. Don't forget this now. Get one of these too. Get one of these. Throw this in the library too though. Yes, sir. Uh, throw that one in there. Ah. One world, one America, Tartarians and Moors. James Lee. Love, true peace, freedom, and justice. Huh? Huh? You know what's our time, though. You know what's our time, though. Look. This book, my book right here, it's available right now at KhalifaMedia.com. Look. Right here. Go to KhalifaMedia.com. You can snatch this up right now. Yes, sir. KhalifaMedia.com. Tune in. Turn up. Grab all the grab all the books on there you can. All right. Grab the books while you can, cause you know it's each one, teach one. I'm gonna catch y'all more in the next one though. Much love to all y'all. Study, study, study. Teach your babies, Moors. Teach your babies, because the babies is up now, not later. Keep your integrity. Don't fall victim to the illusions that's in front of us. Don't, don't fall for it, G. Keep your integrity. Keep your focus laser focus. Know what I'm saying? Laser focus. Keep your integrity, Moors. Don't let, don't start chasing it. Don't start chasing the shiny objects. Cameroon, Islam. Don't chase what they putting in front of you. Keep your integrity, G. All right? Each one teach one. I self-law and master. Peace, Morris.
Thank you.